Hi, I'm Brennan from Waffles Community Robotics, and in this video we're going to put together some of the things we learned in the past videos all into uh, one program. So, it's just going to be kind of a fun little thing. We'll plop out a uh, move block here, a steering block, the tank kind. And let's say let's go through three rotations. The ports are right A and D for our robot. You might have to change that though, depending on where your ports are plugged in or your motors are plugged into. Uh, then say you're gonna go pick up something. So let's wait for maybe two seconds for it to come. And while you're picking that up you can uh, show something like a big smile because you're really happy because you picked it up and because you're really happy you show a green light because everything's good it's kind of a diagnostic thing that you could do for FLL things you could use your light to say all's good or whatever or uh, something on the screen uh, and then let's just put another wait there for maybe five seconds so that you can see your uh, picture and make sure that your light is the right color. <coughs> Normally when a program is being run, by the way, the uh, light pulses, so pulse would be true, but we're going to have a solid uh, pulse or a solid light, so pulse is false. And we'll make it do two things at the same time. Uh, we'll wait for a second before we decide to use our motor. It has like a kind of like an arm thing on the uh, base robot that comes with the EV3. And let's use degrees. Uh, it doesn't have a whole lot of range, so let's just make it 100 degrees so that it doesn't overdrive and then your program gets stuck because it can't go as far as it tells it to and then we'll play a happy note to say that yes we were successful at picking up whatever and that seems all fine stop that alright so let's download it quickly Make sure that all our ports are in the right place. So, here are the port screen that I mentioned. So, you can see all your um, sensors, touch, ultrasonic, gyro, and color slash light sensor, uh, and your two motors A at A and D, and your B motor. And let's see what it does. And as you can see, it did exactly what we wanted it to. It drove forwards while waiting for one second, and then after, before it was done uh, driving forwards, then it lowered or raised its arm and beeped, then waited, showed a picture, changed the color of the brick lights to green, and waited for us to take a look at the picture and the uh, color change. Uh, that's it for this video. Be sure to check out our other videos.